Hello and welcome to Star Citizen Shorts episode 18 where I will give hints and tips on areas and mechanisms not easily specified in game. Um, today I'm going to be talking about throttles. Um, last year I bought a cheap FR Tech Raptor throttle. Um, the reason I bought this because I didn't want to spend £100 on a throttle that I didn't even know if I was going to enjoy using in game. Um, everything works. You see, I can change the uh, speed limiter and I can ping and I can move left and right and up and down quite easily. But the one thing I cannot do is use the throttle to increase my speed, which makes the whole thing kind of pointless, in my opinion. I assume it's Star Citizen doesn't recognize that, that this controller is a throttle, even though Windows it does itself recognize that there is an axis on this control on this uh, throttle. Um, it's quite an easy fix if you quit game, and you will need to get a program called X360 CE. Um, it's freeware, so you can just download it, and it comes in a zip, and you can just drag it out and place it whatever folder you would like it to be in. Right, once that's downloaded, this is the screen that you will be given. Um, all you need to do now is just press um, add and then add in the controller. I'll show you now. So if you press add and then just select the control, well, the throttle you want to use as the basis for this because what we're doing is we're tricking star citizen into thinking that the throttle is actually um a trigger on an xbox controller so what you just need to do is just select that controller or throttle and it should now appear in the game like so all we need to do is just change the slider see the slider there so all we need to do is just set the slider as the tr right trigger or left trigger. It doesn't really matter. But all we need to do for that, I will show you how to do it. So you just click on the button you want to change, which is either of the throttles, uh, slider, sorry. And then you on the throttle, you just move it and then it should set it itself one thing I did do as well, um, I need to set the game as a profile so that um, this profile only starts when I'm playing Star Citizen. Um, so you click on add game and then choose Star Citizen as the game. And like I said, then this profile will be saved and it will only start up when Star Citizen is running itself. It's very useful. Now, when I pull the trigger, the, the uh, throttle up and down, it actually um, acts as if the controller is doing it. And now you can minimize this. Don't close it because that will close the program down. Now, another little trick um, is to open up either Notepad++ or just Notepad on its own works. And you want to type in what I've got here. I mean, the location of the different files is not going to be the same, but what this is going to do is this is going to, whenever I click on RSI launcher, it also starts the 360 uh, CE pro program. So I don't need to run 360 CE at any other time unless I'm playing Star Citizen and I don't need to search for it and play it so I can just click the um, shortcut. So you create this and then you click on file and then save and then type in whatever you want really and then end it with um, dot bat as the, as the extension and it'll create a batch file. And then you wanna put the batch file away from your desktop really so that it's not making clutter. And then you want to click um, Right, right click and say new and just click shortcut. And then all you do is you want to uh, put the location as the batch file you've just created. 
I'll give you an example. This is the one that I've I I have made myself, and see it goes to D Games and Star Citizen with Emulator dot bat. So what this will do now, um, when you click on the um icon for the shortcut, it starts Star Citizen, and it also starts the um controller emulator as well. I will show you. So it makes it a lot easier, and because I've set Star Citizen as um, a profile for it, as soon as I start the game, it will automatically move over to the profile for the remapping that I've done specifically for this game. And you see, it's changed automatically where the remapping is already done. Now you want to minimize um, that program while Star Citizen's running, um, but you should actually, because um, when it's minimized, it uses less CPU power as well, which is um, really quite necessary with Star Citizen. Okay, I'm just going to go into Arena Commander because it's just fast to get into the ship. Okay, and once we are in game, hopefully. Once we're in, you see, it's working, but that's because I have already remapped this. I'm going to show you how to remap it as well. Go to Options. And then go to key bindings and advanced and you move over one so it says game pad game pad um, once you're there you click to flight movement and all you want to do is just um, click on throttle forward back and then you just move your throttle again Now it works. Oh, I'm going to crash. As you see now, when I use the throttle, it actually works. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to add, really. That is how to get throttles working when Star Citizen doesn't recognize your controller has a throttle, but you know it does. Um, and that's everything. Have a nice day, and I bid you farewell.